In this section of the course, we are going to be talking about test-driven development by example. So you've already heard the name, good old Kent Beck. So this is the book we are going to be talking about in this course. Uh, the first section of the book goes through a, a series of test-driven development. Now, if you've seen my other courses, you will see me demonstrate test-driven development. We are going to go through a very simple Java example, and this pure Java, not Spring or anything like that. We're going to go through pure Java and we're going to follow the examples in this book. Uh, this book was written quite some time ago. It is a little bit data and it's using, I think, Java 1.3 or 1.4 actually are the examples in the book. So things have evolved. Now, Kent is also the original author of JUnit, one of the early ver versions. He has since handed it off to others. Uh, we are looking at JUnit 5. So we are going to take the examples from this book and do it in a more modern context. We're going to look at the Java 1.8 language le level and work with uh, JUnit 5 and run through all the examples. I think there's a lot of good exercises in here because we're going to go through this and examine how we use test-driven development methodologies to not only write our software, to write our code, but to write our test and how we can evolve our code and our tests at the same time. So we are going to uh, write tests. We will have known defects. We will have known functionality gaps that we are not going to implement right away, but we are going to get that baseline set of tests and then evolve our test and our code together in a very uh, processed way. And at the end, we will have a solid set of classes, quality code, and good test coverage, which is exactly what we want to go through. So. I, I wanted to add this to the, the course because there's a lot of a lot of focus on the mechanics of testing of how you write a test, but not more of the uh, practical theory behind it. And test-driven development is a very, very good practice. It is widely accepted in the industry. You'll see people use it all the time. I use it all the time, uh, especially when I'm generating production-grade code. It is an absolute go-to where you go through, create your test, in conjunction with the software that you're writing. So it is a multi-step process, but you just don't go in and start writing code and go and then bring it up and run something through and say, ah, it works. Uh, you actually go through and write your test along with the code. So this is a very important process. We're going to be looking at it in depth in this section of the course.